Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Bregner here. I'm going to show you how to put the background on your superhero project. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your project and I have given you several background choices over here on the right hand side. You can kind of scroll over to see them fully. Let's say you want the city skyline right here. Just go ahead and grab it right from the middle. And you're going to drag it all the way to the corner until it fits snug up against the corner. The trick to make sure it doesn't get distorted, all fuzzy and stretched out is to take it and pull it from the corner, this corner, and click on it and you're gonna pull it as far as you can until it fills the entire area right there. So you gotta really get into that corner. And now when you put other pictures on top, they should layer right on top of the image in the background. If they don't, or you decide to do your background later after you have stuff on there, just right click on the image, go to order, and then send to the back. And that'll push it to the back so everything's on top of it. If some reason, because as you put things in here, it will always put whatever's new in the front. So um, you can order and let's say it's bring forward, it'll bring it to the front. Bring forward, bring to the front, order, bring to the front. And there, now when you put things on it, it's gonna be in the front, right? but you don't want it in the front, you want it in the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that because you want it sent to the back. Now let's say, I don't like any of these backgrounds, Miss Brector, they don't go with my superhero. Well, you can go and find any image and put it in the background. Just make sure it's not really fuzzy, and has really good quality, and you don't want any watermarks. That means anything that has like stamps on it or something that says who it's by. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this picture and go to Google and search your images that you want to find. So here I was looking for a lightning background. Ooh, this one's kind of cool right here. If you click on it, you can see, hmm, it's a pretty good quality image. So I'm gonna right click on it, copy. So right click, copy, go back to my Google drawing assignment, and I'm gonna right click, paste. Pretty easy, huh? Wow, it doesn't really fit though, huh? So the trick to get it to fit, you're gonna double click on it, one, two, really quickly, and you get these little black brackets. That's your cropping tool. It's gonna to cut your picture. So we're gonna pull it in, because you kinda of wanna make it more square. And see it says, do you wanna really cut this off? And you're gonna click outside of it, and it'll cut it down. And then you always pull from the right bottom corner. That way you don't get distortion. And there you go. Now, when you put things on it, see that? It's going behind it. So I might want to right click on it, order, send to the back. There you go. And now you have a cool background of your choosing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that out. And maybe I want this one in here. So maybe I wanna try different backgrounds. Maybe you want one that goes with your superhero. That's fine too. But if you have to change it later, it could get a little tricky. So. To do it in the beginning is the best. Sometimes you gotta baby step it. And that way, when you go to insert your image, so let's put my cell sister on there, and she's gonna go right on top. So everything else can be layered on top of this background. Looks so much better with the background, right? And not a boring, just solid color. Let's do fun things this time. So that's how to insert your background. I hope that helped. Watch it as many times as you need to in order to get that background there. Good luck.